Let's begin with practice set 16.1 now. The first sum. Find the volume of a box if its length, breadth and height are 20 centimeters, 10.5 centimeters and 8 centimeters respectively. Volume is basically the amount of water or space that is there inside. So amount of uh, water you can put in, amount of air filled inside. So whatever the space that is there inside of a particular container is called as the volume of that particular container. Okay, now, so what we can do is now to find out the volume of a box, there is a formula. So the box, the box is in a cuboid shape since its length, breadth and height is given. It means it, it, it is, they are three different measures. So a length given to us is, length is 20 centimeters, breadth is 10.5 centimeters and height is 8 centimeters okay so formula for volume volume of cuboid is basically length into breadth into height that is length for length i'll put 20 into 10.5 into 8 multiply all this 20 into 8 is how much 160 okay 8 twos are 16 so 160 into 10.5 multiply 160 into okay 10.5 into 160 will 0, 0, 0. 6 are 30, 0, 3 comes down, 6 ones are 6. Then 5, 0, 1. 0, 0, 8, 6, 1. Point after 1 now. So now what happens is the answer what we are getting is after multiplying 1680.0. So 1680. Now it's volume, so cubic centimeters. That's it. And Final answer will be the length, the volume of the box is 1680 cubic centimeters. You just have to multiply the length, the breadth and the height. Now let's do the second sum. Okay. A cuboid shape so far has volume. Now volume is given. Volume is how much? 150 cubic centimeters. Okay. Find the thickness if it's length. Okay. Length is also given. Length is how much? 10 breadth is 5 5 you have to find out the height again volume of cuboid is length into breadth into height so we have the volume 150 is equal to 10 into 5 into height okay 10 into 5 is 50 so 50 into height so 50 comes down h remains alone 150 upon 50 is equal to h. 0, 0 gets cancelled. 5 ones are 5, 3 is are. h is equal to 3 centimeters. So, what is the height? Height is 3 centimeters. See, we have used the same formula. Only substitute the values and then whichever is missing, that you keep it on one side and divide the figure on this side of the bracket. So, you get 3 centimeters. So, your answer is 3 centimeters. Now the third one. Okay. How many bricks of length 25 centimeters, breadth 15 centimeters, and a height 10 centimeters are required to build a wall of length 6 meters, height 2.5 meters, and breadth 0.5 meters? See now, for brick we have centimeters and for wall we have meters. So what we'll do is for wall we'll convert. So what is a for wall? For wall. What is the length given? Length is 6 meters. So, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Right? So, 6 meters will be 100 into 6 is equal to 600 centimeters. So, our length is 600. Breadth is 2.5. So, 2.5 into 100 is equal to 3 centimeters. Height is 0 0.5 into 100 that is 50 centimeters now volume of the wall is equal to length into breadth into height so length is 600 breadth is 250 and height is 50 now we'll not solve it either you can do it both the ways either solve and find the answer and divide by the volume of the brick 
or you keep it this, this, this way only now we'll find the volume of brick that also is length into breadth into height that is how much what is the length length is 25 breadth is 15 and height is 10 so number of bricks they have asked number of bricks are basically volume of wall upon volume of brick okay either you solve it and write the volume or you just take it as it is so volume of wall is what 600 into 250 into 50 all right and volume of brick 25 into 15 into 10 now we can solve it okay 0 0 gets cancelled or 25 ones are 25 25 25 tens are 250 okay 15 ones are 15 15 fours are 60 and 0 so 60 in sorry 40 into 10 into 5 finally what do we have 40 into 10 into 5 10 fives are 50 so 40 into 50 5 fours are 20 so 20 and 2 zero that is 2000 bricks so what is your final answer how many bricks will be required how many uh, how many uh, bricks will be required to build the wall 2000 bricks will be required again i'll explain first what did we do whatever we had in meters we converted it into centimeters so length became 600 breadth became 250 and height became 50 we did not find the volume of wall in order to find out the number of bricks what we have to do is we have to divide the volume of wall with the volume of brick volume of wall upon volume of brick either find the answer and write or keep it as it is we can cancel it when it comes here so volume of wall was 600 into 250 into 50 and volume of brick was 25 into 15 into 10 we wrote it this way and we cancelled and final answer we got is 2000 bricks now third sum is done let's go to the fourth sum now fourth sum for rainwater harvesting a tank of length 10 meters breadth 6 meters and depth 3 meters is built now length is 10 meters breadth is 6 meters and height is 3 meters now what is the capacity capacity means volume so let's find out the volume of the tank first and then they are asking how many liters so first we need volume then we need liters so we'll have to convert it so let's find the volume first volume of tank is length into breadth into height so length is 10 into 6 into 3 10 6 is 60 60 into 3 is 180 so 180 cubic meters is our volume now second question is liters okay so 1 cubic meter 1 cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters so what we have to do is for volume of tank is equal to 180 cubic meter so what uh, liter liters for to find out liters we have to multiply 180 by 1000 okay so when you multiply 180 by 1000 you get 18000 liters okay so you it is 180000 all right so what is the how much liters can it hold what is the capacity capacity is 180 cubic meters and how many liters can it hold it can hold 180000 liters of water okay that's it and that's the end of exercise 16.1